To anybody wondering how long the next update's gonna be? All I have to say is this will be the day. Hey guys, this is Kelko K22 and the wait is finally over-ish. Kind of, maybe. I'll let you guys decide. The update is out. That's the most important thing, the update is out. A lot of the things I wanted to include in this update, I've had to kind of put on the back burner for the next update. Just so this update is out, because I really want you guys to actually play it. Because I know a lot of you guys are getting anxious to actually get your hands on the, the way the new weapons work and everything and the new dust system. So what I've done is I've basically polished off what I already had. Uh, concentrated on just the things that I had already started for the most part or things that I could just put to one side and say yeah leave them for the next one so it is still a pretty reasonable update and I personally uh, I'm, I'm personally looking forward to seeing you guys responses to this update so if you're over on planet minecraft I do suggest giving me a diamond and that and if you're here on YouTube I do recommend hitting like as it's honestly the thing that encourages me to make these updates so yeah let's get on to what the new update actually does we've got a new dust system the dust system isn't completely implemented as I edited a bit of it last night and I didn't of finishing it. Yeah. So, for the most part, all dust is going to be available from these four ores. These four ores are based on the um, the kind of four types of dust in Ruby. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it is. Worlds of Remnant had an episode on dust and it says that there's four types of dust and basically every other... What I'm interpreted from that is every other type of dust is a variant on that dust so a combination of that dust a, a diluted version of that dust kind of thing so that's what I'm going to be implementing into the mod basically what you're going to do is combine sorts of dust to make other sorts of dust for example ice and earth will make movement because slippery paths they're horrible and you end up moving a lot faster so that's still in there I don't think I added that crafting recipe unfortunately so that means the mitre master is not craftable at the moment so please don't hate me for that and I think actually some of the uh, gumbo shroud uses it as well so I'm sorry it will be fixed soon I hope that's if I forgot to put it in it might still be in there because originally it was going to be like movement and fire make earth or something. Well, fire and ice make earth or something stupid like that. Then I went, wait, I can just make the shock dust. Well, the sun dust I had it called before. I can just call the sun dust earth dust. And that pretty much solves the problem. So, yeah. There we go. Dust. And just so I can show you what you do with the dust at the moment. You can, you can craft it with the iron to make the ingots like you did before. You can also craft nine together to make a block. You can separate the block to six. I need to fix that. But you can also smelt the block. Just give it time. It'll be done sooner or later. And you get a crystal. Now the crystal I'm pretty sure you can separate down to six. I really do need to fix that. I've just lost three dust. Now. But, yeah. So, that's how you can get blocks and you can get crystals. So, you can craft things with it. You can decorate your house. You can do whatever. And then, these are these. I can't remember if I added the crafting for these. I don't think I ever finished these, tell you the truth. But, they're in here. So, yeah. Next, we'll move on to the next chest. we got armor. Um, these two things down here are work in progress. These haven't been completely implemented they are finished they've just not been implemented what these are going to be is they're going to be mob drops so i'll just put on this set and as you can see 
I'm now a member of the White Fang. Yeah. This is actually using one of Ruby MC's uh, uh, skins. Because he had a White Fang member and I sent him a message and said, um, can I use your skins as armor slash mobs kind of thing? And he said, yeah, no problem. So, here we go. And we have Adam's Mask. Because a lot of people have asked for this. You have no idea how many people have asked for this. I think I need to add two pixels to the side, but other than that, they're there. The mask is worth diamond, and the white fang is worth um, iron, I believe. So let's just put these back in, and let's take out these. These are work in progress items. They both do the same, so I'm only going to show you the one, actually. I'll show it with this one. Because this one's going to be the best. So, as you can see, it's a piece of armor. The armor, I can't remember what I set it to, if I set it to diamond or iron. But, yeah, a lot of people have been asking for this. The only thing is, I couldn't get it to completely work. Now, a lot of people are going to be mad for this. But, if you look when you move, the arm moves, but the shield doesn't. It's basically just a fixed item there. Um, that's why it's a work in progress and not finished. So, yeah. It'll be good for kind of posing, but other than that, uh, yeah. And the the other one's basically the same, just uh, uh, Pira's shield instead of um, John's. Okay, on to the main part of this update. I've changed the Crescent Rose, the Ember Silica, and the Gombo Shroud to using bullets. The Mighty Master, Mio and Akuo, Stormflower, Mag Hild, and I've completely forgotten the other one. Kundilic Merge or something? Let me check that. It's on the last page, isn't it? Uh, where is it? There it is. Mendolic Kruge. They will be all moved over to this um, new ammo system soon, but so far these are the three kind of test subjects. So, you're going to need bullets, and you're going to need shells or whatever for whichever gun you're going to be using. So, I forgot to get some iron. Everything but iron. Okay. To do it, to craft a bullet, you're going to need... Iron and uh, black iron. Maybe wrong, you may need uh, frost iron, but I'm pretty sure it's these. And then you just put two in a thing. It's shapeless, so you can put them anywhere, and you get eight bullets. Eight. Uh, I'll put it dust is top, yeah. Let's so take some of this dust, and you put four of these in here with dust and another piece of iron and you get four bullets so it is a bit expensive but when you consider you've got a gun in minecraft it, i can forgive it so let's just craft up the rest of these uh wait ah black iron there we go so as you can see we now have eight bullets so if i go into the top chest again let's take Let's just take all of this. Just put one back in each. So they won't have a go at me for taking all of it. And ruining their display. Okay. Uh, I believe the Crescent Rose ammo clip crafts like this. So I am completely wrong, aren't I? Okay, okay, okay. Not that I've forgotten how to craft my own item. But I've forgotten how to craft my own item. Hmm. This isn't fair. Just give me a second. Okay. 
I feel real bad that I actually forgot that because it's kind of simple. Because you see, you kind of got the black strip across the top, that's that, and then you got the kind of black bit in the center, that's that, and then you got a chunk missing on this corner, that's that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I shall walk, take the walker showman as a bit. But for now, at least, let's go over what I was just talking about. So we take these ammo clips and we put eight bullets I believe by them and then we get the Crescent Rose magazine full. So let's craft some more bullets. That's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of more bullets than I thought I was going to craft. Um, it's four isn't it? I just realised we've got no iron now. Um, because I used it all. Because I used a moron. We're gonna need all these bullets anyway. So let's put these in here. Put some fire dust. We're gonna run out of dust. One too many. There we go. Boom. Uh, let's put all these in here. And let's craft uh, one more ammo clip. Just because we're going to need the rest of them in a sec. Here we go. We've got two ammo clips for the Crescent Rose now. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Uh, which one's it in? It's in this one. As you can see, you use an ammo clip to craft it. And that's because it comes with eight ammo. So, the way this behaves is it behaves pretty much exactly like the old one. I can find this creeper. You just right click and it shoots, but now it shoots an arrow instead. And I'm in creative mode, so I believe that's why it hasn't spawned a, uh, a thing. But normally this would go through the 8 ammo in the gun. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this onto uh, peaceful. And we're gonna go and test this on the actual shooting range. So, game mode, uh, survival. Okay. So as you can see, it shoots arrows and it is pretty damn accurate. And every time you shoot, it will drop these. And as soon as it uses so much ammo, it will consume one of these. It shouldn't have consumed one already, but yeah. Things don't always work out the way they should. Just as you can see, every time it shoots, it drops a bullet. And it, it basically fires. There we go. Get these. And as you can see, I've shot out all of them. And the arrows, you can't pick them up, so... No trying to glitch that out. So, we'll just go back in here. Then we would just craft the bullets again like I was showing you. Then just take the empty magazines. Surround them. Then we got our two magazines back and now we can start shooting again. So, pretty much... The idea was to just implement the ammo, which a lot of people have been asking for a long time to implement, so don't say I don't listen to you guys. So that's the Crescent Rose. Uh, the hit is the same, so yeah, Crescent Rose. Uh, moving on, we have the Gambo Shroud which crafted with an ammo clip there as well. This also uses the same bullets. I believe it's just, um, yeah, just like that, make the ammo clip. And then the ammo clip only uses three bullets. Not, well, at least I believe it does. Why are you not working? Is it six? Yeah, it uses six bullets then. So, let's just go like that. And we have our two magazines for this gun. 
So this behaves the exact same as it used to, three modes, except from in gun mode, this also now shoots the arrows. And yeah, as you can see, it's not dropping um, the shells like the Crescent Rose was. Let me just see, I've got one shot left. Okay, it's got zero shots now. So now it will consume an ammo clip. And it should drop all of the shells at the same time. So you can then use the shells to recraft the ammo. And then make more bullets to make more full magazines and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it with this one. I think I'm going to change the bullets so it's not the high caliber bullets. But for now at least, that will do. That will do. Uh, next we have the Ember Silica. I'm going to need some more dust for this, so, uh, game mode, uh, it's creative, isn't it, so, creative, uh, let's get some dust, uh, it's, f I believe it's sun dust, actually, but earth dust for this, I'll take some fire as well, just in case, uh, the shells for this, I believe it's just two of this, and you get nine, and these maybe completely wrong on the dust here. Okay, let's see how many I need. Okay, I absolutely don't know which dust I'm supposed to be using now. Okay. Just give me a second and I'll work that out as well. Okay, I was right and I was wrong, so let's just get all of these out. What it needs, it needs both dust. Now, I can't remember how many bullets it can do at the same time, so let's just try. Okay. Okay. These are the shells. Be back in a sec. Okay, so it takes six shells and then makes six bullets. So, yeah. I feel bad that I've forgotten most of this. Okay. So, we'll craft a few... Well, I've spawned in some whilst trying to work it out. Uh, and then you use these. You fill a thing. Uh, let me just... That will do. And then, boom, we get um, the ammo belts for the gun. Now, the cool thing about this is this one kept the fireballs. So, this one still does the fireball moves. Um, I'm going to have people complaining, aren't I? Uh, let's do toggle down for... There we go. I'm going to have people complaining that this uses the fireballs and this burnt down their world and whatever. If you're going to use the fire weapon, at least be aware that it's going to burn down your world. It's going to burn down your world. So again, this punches like it did. It shoots like it did. And yeah, if I go into uh, uh, survival, you'll see when this thing reloads, it drops a whole bunch of ammo. And I've just worked out a glitch in this, and that's going to be fixed in the next one. So as you can see, it just fires. Then when it's got zero ammo left, it uses up an ammo belt and then drops all the shells. Kind of like how when she reloads in the yellow trailer, the shells just explode everywhere. So, yeah, that's... That's Yang's weapon, and that's that's it done. So I'm just going to move these down here, because we're going to need them in a second. Let's go back in, and finally, the two weapons everybody's been waiting for. Coco's handbag, and Yakshirashi's sword. 
yeah, the, the, these are the two new weapons for the mod. The Yatsurashi sword does more damage than the Crescent Rose. A lot of people are going to be hating that. But the fact is, it doesn't have a gun mode. It doesn't do anything special except from hit enemies far. So, yeah. And Coco's handbag. It's pretty weak, but it's gun mode makes up for it. So, let's go back into creative and let's spawn in some mobs these are the new mobs for the update they're not yet fully implemented because the place I want to implement them into has not been added so let's put this on easy first we have the white fang member again using the skin that was kindly um, I want to say donated but I kind of took it, but yeah, he said I could use it, so I'm using it. So there we go. We got our white fang member. I did burn up the skin and give him the sword as well. So there we go. He's a white fang member, and he basically works the exact same as a henchman, but he has the sword instead. So we have the Higurashi sword, and as I said, that sends enemies flying. Uh. My fang members need editing a bit. So next we have Coco's handbag. I know. As I was there, yeah. as I was saying just before, that's all this sword does. It just sends them flying and it just does a ton of damage. The handbag, on the other hand, is what Ruby weapons should be. First off, you have it as a handbag, and then we have it as something a bit more fun. So let's spawn in something to kill, like this Ursa. First time people seen it with fixed legs. So we have some Ursus. Some Ursa Ursus. And we have Coco's handbag. So first off, these things hit. Pretty damn tough. They have a ton of health and they drop the mag healed parts. Secondly, this thing um this thing has a gun mode. Let me just show you this. It is it is nice. It's probably the nicest model I've made in uh, this mod for a while. And it kills. When I say it kills, I mean it kills. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. That's That was nasty. That was nasty. They all died. So let's put this back onto uh, uh, peaceful. And I can show you exactly how much ammo this thing uses. So, if I put that onto uh, there, then uh, actually let's drop that and that, walk away, clear inventory, walk back up to it. So I have Coco's handbag and one stack of ammo. That's it, just one stack. Then we'll go uh, back into survival and then test it on here. So, as you can see, pretty nice coverage of shots. But I am already out of my 64 bullets. But, yeah. It sticks a lot of bullets into an opponent at the same time. I mean, that's got to be painful. That has got to be painful. So, yeah. Coco's handbag. I like it. I do like it. I have deleted Higurashi's sword. They're going to be angry at me. They're going to be angry at me. As you've seen, the two mobs we had then... Um, we had the uh, Ursa and the White Fang member. So let's put in a White Fang member next to a henchman on easy. And as you can see, they are basically the same thing. And let's spawn in an Ursa. And we're going to need a weapon for this. We're going to need a weapon and we're going to need some armor. Let's take this white fang armor, because maybe they won't attack us then. And we need a weapon, so let's go something simple like this. So let's equip the armor. Let's go and fight this Ursa. Okay, game mode creative. As you can see, the Ursas are quite a bit slower than they used to be. Well, slower than the... Um, 
the Beowulfs. They are still fast, but they are slower than the Beowulfs. May have to move their speed down a bit more. But they don't hit anywhere near as much as the the uh, polar Beowulfs do. So, yeah, I you don't want to run into one, but I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. Come on, you two. Come on. Yeah. John 2 OP. Yeah. I'm going to end the video here. Because, yeah, that's pretty much everything in the update. There's quite a lot in the mod in general. But that's not the button I wanted to hit. But, yeah. Please tell me what you think in the comment section below. As I said, I wanted to add a lot more into this update than I did. Um, I'm looking at a lot of textures here which weren't used. So, you know what? I don't think the next update after this is going to take that long. So, yeah, this is Kelko K22. Signing out. Goodbye.